Hey there, what's up everybody, Indro here and today I'll show you how you can quickly apply the famous orange and teal effect to your photos in Photoshop. Applying the orange and teal effect to your photos is very simple in Photoshop and you can achieve the effect in just few seconds. So we'll be starting with an image of this landscape and then we'll also apply the effect to three other images. All the images are downloaded from pexels.com. Their links are provided in the description sections below. Do visit the images and go to the artist's portfolio to get awesome cool photos like these. So before we start applying the effect, we'll be recording each and every step into an action so that to other images we can simply apply the effect just by one click of that action. You can bring up your actions panel by going to window actions so if you're not familiar with photoshop actions photoshop actions are a very powerful tool and they come very handy in some workflows like you can record each and every step like if you have hundreds or thousands of steps into an action and you can play the action and photoshop will automatically apply all those steps onto your image so as our action panel has popped open we can select this new set icon to create a new action set and we'll rename it as orange steel effect I'll click OK and I'll click this icon to create a new action. Let's rename it as Orange Teal General. There's a reason I named it as Orange Teal General. It's because for images where there will be people or figures, we'll try to preserve the skin tones so that the orange teal effect does not change that. So it will look more natural. So that's why we'll create another actions with people or figures in it. I'll show you that in a moment after we are done with this one. So just as we hit record, you can see that the action has started recording. So now each and every step that we perform in Photoshop will be recorded into this action. So let me undock my actions panel and move it over here so that you can see as it records steps as we apply our filters. So let's duplicate our layer, right click and select duplicate layer and let's rename it as main image. You can see that as I am doing some operations here, the action is recording the steps. So let's right click and select convert to smart objects so that we can apply our filter non-destructively on top of it. And because of the smart objects, we can go anytime into the filters and change it to anything that we want. Now let's apply our main filter and that is camera raw filter. Go to filter, camera raw filter. Well, I have my camera raw filter updated to version 12.3, so you can see a new user interface over here. But if you have an older version, you will see all these different options as icons side by side. So that will also work exactly same. The internal functionalities are same. So just scroll down and go to calibration and with the current process selected, drag the hue slider for red primary all the way to plus 100. You can see that the red channel is slowly turning into shades of orange. Now go to the blue primary channel and drag the hue slider all the way to the left. And you can see that we have already applied our orange and teal effect. It's that simple. Now let's fine tune our color and make them pop. Go to color mixture and make sure HSL is selected in adjust and then select the hue tab. And over here you will see the channels for different colors. Our objective is to turn shades of reds to shades of orange and also turn the green or blue colors into shades of cyan or teal. With that in mind, you can see that we have the red channel at the very top and you can drag the slider all the way to plus 100 and it will boost the orange colors. Keep the orange slider as it is because we do not want to mess with the orange tone in the image. Keep the yellows as it is and for greens, drag it all the way to plus 100. Now for aquas, you can drag it to minus 25 and for blues, you can see that changing the blue slider affects the image to a great extent. So let's keep it at minus 10 to get that perfect teal look we are looking for. For purples, you can drag it all the way to minus 100 to change shades of purple to shades of blue. Keep the magenta as it is and hit OK to commit the changes. So that's it. We are done with our orange and teal effect and we have everything recorded into our Photoshop action. So we can stop recording and we can play this action to any images and apply the effect in just one click. So let's open up a new image and we have a figure in it. In this case, we'll try to preserve the skin tones to make it look more natural. 
So I'll collapse this action and we can click this flyout menu with the action selected. We can click duplicate and it will duplicate the action. I'll double click on the name to rename it and let's rename it as orange until figures. So now we can play the action and orange and teal effect will apply onto the image automatically. Here as we are trying to preserve the skin tones, we'll also record those steps into the action. Let's expand the action and go to the very last step and we'll hit the record button because we want to record the new steps into this new action. So that's the beauty of Photoshop actions. You can play it, pause it and then again record steps into it and use it for future use cases. Now I'll hide the orange and teal layer so that we have a visibility on the original layer and then go to select color range and select skin tones from this drop down menu. Keep your fuzziness to 40 and click OK. So we have our skin tones selected. Now we'll show our main image where we have our orange and teal effect applied and select this smart filter mask. Now select your foreground color as black. We can quickly do that by pressing D on the keyboard to reset our colors to default to black and white. But in that case, our foreground color is white. Now we'll press X on the keyboard to invert the colors. Now we'll have our default foreground color as black. Now with the foreground color as black and the smart filter mask selected, we'll press Alt and Backspace on Windows and Options and Delete on Mac to fill it with the foreground color. Next, we'll hit Ctrl or Command plus D on keyboard to deselect the selection. That's done and we can stop recording the action. Let's collapse our action and we have brought out the original skin tones. So you can hold Shift on the keyboard and click on this layer mask and you can see that we are now showing the original skin tones. So here we have two different actions created for orange and teal, one for general landscapes and cityscapes and the other for person or human figures in the image. So let's try this effect on two more images. So this one has a person in it. So let's select our second action orange and teal figures and let's click it. And here we have our orange and teal look in just one click. Let's hold shift and click on this layer mask to see how it has preserved the skin tones. And as you can see over here, it has also hidden parts of the image from the car and the girl's top. So you can let the orange and teal effect show through here easily by selecting your brush tool and select any brush, a soft round brush maybe with an increased hardness. And make sure you are selecting color white. You can again press D on the keyboard to default your foreground color to white. And make sure you are selecting the layer mask of these smart filters and then simply paint on the layer mask with white to reveal the orange and teal effect on those areas of the image. As you know, when you paint with white on layer mask, it shows and when you paint with black on layer mask, it hides. So over here, we are just painting with white to show parts of that orange and teal effect on the image where it got hidden when we tried to automatically show the skin tones. Let's also show the effect on the girl's top. Yes, that looks fine. Let's also try the effect on our last image. And this is a city image, so no persons in it. And we can simply run our orange and teal general. Let's select the action and click it. And here we have it. So it is this simple to apply the orange and teal effect to your images. You just need to play with the camera raw filters and turn shades of red to orange and shift shades of green and blue to teal or cyan. As always, you can find the link to the resources that we created right now in this video in the description sections below. If this video helped you in any way, please like it and subscribe to support my channel. I'll see you in the next one and till then stay creative.